G'day YouTube, welcome back. Alright, Sunday evening here in Australia. It's now Christmas time in other parts of the world, so Merry Christmas to everyone. I'm not going to take up too much time because, again, it is Christmas and, you know, you probably should be doing other things other than watching crypto videos at the moment, but it's Boxing Day for uh, us here in Australia. So, alright, quick recap. Market, 2.41 trillion, just kind of trading sideways at the moment. Bitcoin dominance still hovering around that kind of 40%. Not a lot of volume at the moment. That's to be expected. Again, public holidays and things like that. Bitcoin price is just under 50,000. We're a little bit over. Now we're a little bit under. Just got to wait and kind of see what's going to happen. And gas prices, nice and steady at $4. Not cheap, but cheaper than it's obviously been in a long time. All right, what's done well in the last 24 hours? Because there are some coins that are doing all right at the moment. Adam, nice move, 14%. Phantom, 12%. Matic is just starting to soar now, really starting to take off. $2.80, that is beautiful. Curve Finance, 10%. Look, some nice double-digit moves, plenty of single-digit moves there, so things are starting to move quite, excuse me, quite nicely at the moment. All right, what hasn't performed well, though? Considering the market's down ever so slightly, really more travelling sideways. But there we go, Aave down ever so slightly, but we got a story about that coming up soon. Litecoin hovering around sort of $1.50. So look, a couple of losses there, Uni having a bit of a pullback, but nothing major. Like the worst is a 5% loss. Uh, that is, you know, the crypto world, that's basically nothing. That's like a half a percent loss in any other markets. So what I want to do is have a look at the Bitcoin chart because something interesting is happening here. Right, so as I said the other day, we've had this breakout, which is good. Now what we want to see is we get a breakout and it come back down and retest this downward trending angle. Now it could bounce from here and then come down and come down lower again but we want to see it basically bounce on this side we don't want it to fall back down here and then start to bounce around in here so even if it continues to come down and it bounces off here and even if we get a bit of a rollover and it bounces off it down here we eventually want it to start to break out that's the bullish narrative i don't know if we're there just yet we'll still have to wait and see because this could easily fall back in here and then we start to bounce down around here and that wouldn't be so good but look at the moment i don't see anything in the markets that's you know kind of too scary and there's nothing in the markets that's like overly great either it's you know as the price showed uh the total market cap showed sorry it's just traveling sideways at the moment now the last thing that i want to focus on is i was i've been saying this for a while DeFi has been pretty quiet don't sleep on DeFi. It's not going to go away. Everything's going to have their cycles where they pump really hard and everyone's going to get super excited and then it's going to die off a little bit. Now, not die off completely. It just won't be the it thing. When it's not the it thing and it's quiet and its prices have gone down and sort of stabilized at some sort of point, that is where you want to start to get in because look what's happening to the DeFi tokens now. DeFi tokens post double digit gains amid crypto market recovery. Now, like I said, we're not out of the woods just yet, but DeFi is starting to pick up again. Now, most of all, I wanted to focus on this. Aave, starting to make moves again. Has had a little bit of a pullback, but it's also had a pretty big rise in the last few days. I mean, what was that? From $169, and what was the low? I could have swore it got down to 160. I thought it was down near one sort of 40. But landmark ARC proposal in discussion to list the first regulated bank as a whitelister to Aave Arc market. So originally it was going to be called Aave Pro was the rumor. Now we know it's Aave Arc. Swiss-based SIBA bank becoming the first regulated bank directly bringing DeFi to the customers. And they're doing it through Aave. Now, not every bank's going to come to Aave. I'm sure Compound's probably going to get a little bit of business, and there'll probably be some other ones that will do all right. But Aave is the first. And again, it's just my gut feeling. They're doing all the right things. They have a financial license over in Europe, looking to get one in, I think, Singapore or Hong Kong, somewhere in Asia. And I believe they'll move into other parts of the world. And I really do think a lot of banks are going to get onto the back of this. They are, this is how DeFi gets brought to the mainstream. The big banks will start to use it, and I think that will really push up the price of the Aave token quite nicely. I don't think it means everything that the Aave 
price suddenly goes to the moon but I think it is good things and I'm hoping that eventually some of the profits that were made from uh, you know all the lending and that will uh, be given back to the token holders that's what I'm kind of hoping for in the future but again this is the start this is where it happens this is the first major bank that is going to use Aave I believe others will follow I don't think Aave is going to be the only protocol I think there will be other protocols that will be used as well but Aave will be the first and I got my fingers crossed that it's going to be the biggest so DeFi, making a comeback, keep an eye out. Like I said, it's all good to you know be chasing the things that are pumping, but you've got to be very careful that you don't get caught on the wrong side of that. I'd rather be chasing the things that are sleeping and dormant because when they do start to fire up, that's where the real exponential gains will be made because you'll have bought it while it was quiet and no one else was interested in it. And then all of a sudden it comes back into fashion and you make massive gains. And then again, when DeFi is starting to pump and go off, Go finding, go looking for the next sector that's down. Maybe it goes back to layer ones. Maybe it goes back to NFTs or some other kind of market. You just got to keep an eye out. Never financial advice though, ladies and gentlemen. As I always say, this is always just my personal opinion. All right, that's it from me. So all those who are in the middle of Christmas right now, congratulations. What a great day. I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. And those who are in Boxing Day and things like that, enjoy the Boxing Day sales. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're all on that game train and I'll see you next time.